What's the matter? Oh, man, I'm just worn out to my bones. Don't you mean marrow bones? Oh! <laughs> marrow bones. Oh, hey, everybody. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode <laughs> of Happy Wax TV. <sighs> and this is the Doom Dorian Report. It sure is. Axe Master. Happy Wax. And, uh, yeah, tonight we are talking about a movie called... Oddly enough. Marrow Bones. <laughs> and there aren't any dogs around. No. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. So, um, okay. Well, let's just jump right into it because uh, I did not really even know anything about this movie until Mrs. Axemaster told me about Discovered it. Discovered it. Yes. Because uh, I didn't know. But it's directed by Sergio G. Sanchez, whose name I'm not overly familiar with, other than he did do a movie in 2007 called The Orphanage, which we did see many, many years yeah, yeah. ago and I vaguely remember it but I remember not hating it yeah. so that's a good thing so in fact I think it was quite creepy if I remember so but maybe it's one we should watch again and do a refresher our memories yeah. so but uh, you want to do the cast sure uh, we got there are some familiar faces in this especially if you're a Stranger Things per, uh, fan because uh, Charlie Heaton plays a guy named Billy in this movie mm -hmm. um, George McKay is also a, a face that's been around yeah. he plays Jack the older brother Anna Taylor Joy plays Allie. Uh, Mia Goth plays Jane, and she's the librarian, and yeah. she's been a ton of stuff oh, yeah. like these teen movies. And, yeah. um, little kid Matthew Staggs, Sam. Um, the only other person that's got a big part really is uh, Tom, or, or sorry, Kyle Soler, yeah. who has a lot of power. <laughs> Soler, uh, and he's basically his character's Tom Porter, is this banker guy that's uh, hot for Jane. Yeah, yeah, and kind of a douche, sort of like you know. He, he just looked like a party. Oh. Was, they couldn't have cast a better guy. Like, <laughs> just looked like he walked out of the 30s. Yeah. And, and it, I think at some point, I, somebody said, it, the movie takes place in 1969, but it looks like this guy walked out of 1939. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so no idea what's going on. So, but. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I don't know. Again, this movie was a surprise to me. Um, I had heard about it, but God, honestly, I kind of forgot about it. And again, I'm glad that we watched it. I mean, it certainly wasn't the best movie I've ever seen, but I mean, it kept me, you know, it, it kept it interesting enough where we didn't snooze through it. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I liked it. I thought it was shot really well. Um, the house that they used was fucking Creepy. wicked. I, I, again, like, unless you research it right down to the fucking, you know, script writing and all this, like, you don't know what's a set and what's like actuality. Like, obviously, there's a house there. And I'm hoping, and it would be totally awesome, if they use the majority of the house, which I'm assuming they did in this movie. I don't think there was a lot of set pieces here for the wider shots. No, it, it was a sprawling manner that they yeah. kept showing anyways, that's for sure. And yeah. it was sort of run ramshackle. It's like, it takes place in Oregon, mm -hmm. right? Because it had that sort of, the, the beach and the hills had that sort of yeah. goonie, Goonies look to it. But yeah, yeah and, I don't know. And as much as this know. movie takes place with the kids, like the house has a big part in it too. Because it's, it's a character... You know, in itself, because mm -hmm. it is creepy as fuck. And until the end, well, not till the end. You, you, you guessed it before I did. But I mean, the house, I keep. I mean, there's mirrors and there's a lot going on there, and just the way it looks, mm -hmm. and it's it's got a cool look to it. So the house is a character as well in this movie. Maybe in this one, if we do spoilers, we should do the rating before. Yeah. Because it's a pretty big spoiler if we oh, spoil yeah. it. If you haven't seen the movie and you don't want it to be ruined, I wouldn't go beyond where we do the rating in, in the. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you the heads up. Right? So. Yeah. But, but. so the the synopsis is. Um, Jack and his family, Allie, Billy, Jane, Sam, and their mother Rose, who's played by Nicole Harrison, mm -hmm. they come to America sort of fleeing a darker past and they settle in, in Oregon. And then the mother basically 
gets ill, passes away, yep. and then the kids sort of hide the fact because they don't want because they want to wait till Jack's old enough to uh, put in for you know guardianship of them. They don't want to be split up, so mm -hmm. they they're trying to hide that the mum's not there. Yeah, and so and uh, Jane, the librarian, has got like this love interest. She's like a neighbor way up on this other hill, and Jack and her do like Morse code with flashlights mm -hmm. and talk like that. But it's even cool. Jane doesn't know that the mom's gone. Right? Yeah, yeah. So they're kind of hiding this kind of thing, and yeah. then. And Mr. Tom Porter, the bankers, come snooping around because they got unfinished business with monies from England and all this kind of stuff, and he needs signatures yeah. from the mom. And the kids are go, going through this sort of thing where they're trying to hide what's happening. And, yeah, and, and forge it too. And one thing too, I think you said at the beginning when they came over and they, they chose that house. I can't remember why they chose that house. I don't know if she had ties to it. I think she did. I can't remember I think, part, I yeah, think, I don't, don't quote me, but yeah. I think she had ties. But either way, when they uh, got there, um, she when they were in the house and it was old and dusty, she drew a line on the floor and she said, once you cross over this line, all the past will be like, we're gonna forget about it, including our names, right? So that's when she decided to call their names Marrow. That's- The Marrowbone, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Cause, sorry, Marrowbone. Because so, her name was something else. Before. Yeah. So that, I thought that was kind of cool too, you know, like totally starting fresh, like, you know, just the hide from... And in light of what happened, maybe they should have called themselves Smith because I don't think there's a lot of marrow bones no. in, the, in the phone book. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, if you're trying some, to hide. Something to consider if you're <laughs> trying to hide, I guess, but... <laughs> Jane Smith would yeah. be probably better than, uh, you know, Rose Marrowbone. Yeah, so, okay, well, let's do a rating. All right. And then we'll do spoilers. Okay. So for me, I'm going to give this movie a very strong six and a half. Okay, so yeah. that, that's for me. It's a strong six and a half, almost a seven, but a yeah. six and a half. Six and a half, seven for me too is where yeah. I was sort of leaning on this one. Yeah. So, so, so well, from beyond, from from this point forward, you're gonna get the and it's a you, you don't want to if you haven't watched it. Yeah. Don't go past this yeah. because so it's just, a big spoil. Yeah. So just stop here. So. Okay. Let's have it. Okay, so there was a <laughs> there was a scene where Jack's in the bathtub, right? So the lawyers come over and the kids are trying to they're trying to forge you know the signature of the mother real quick and the, the and the sister um, uh, Ali is forging the signature and the lawyer's like getting nosy and he walks into the house and he he kind of hears them talking in this back bedroom and then Jack comes out and he has the the sheet so I got thinking hmm that's weird okay. So this guy, this lawyer has not seen any of these kids. Mm -hmm. So what got it for me was, there was a scene where Jack's in the bathtub and he's like, he, you know, he does the old under the water and then he comes up and Jane, or his, no, Allie, his sister mm -hmm. is standing right there. Yeah. And that's when I said, okay, like they're ghosts yeah. because who, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't want my younger sister standing there with my dork floating around in yeah. the bathtub. Yeah. So, you know, it, I said, there, there's something weird going on because no one's seen these other sisters since the beginning, or brothers and sisters since the beginning. Yeah, and it, it was an awkward moment. Yeah, it was an awkward moment. So, yeah, it was kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, I kind of I kind of thought about it, and, I, you know, they're a pretty tight-knit family, and maybe, you know, but for a lot of people, that would be kind of an awkward, especially when you're older, too. When you're little kids, obviously, you bathe with whatever, but... Not when you're, you know, uh, teens going yeah. into your twenties for crazy. But anyways, whatever. Not when, so, uh, not when Jack's getting chubs on in the bathtub with yeah. Jane, thinking about yeah, Jane. Exactly. Sake, so you, yeah, you called it. So and then from the rest of the movie, um, it all just kind of fell into place and it made total sense because yeah, then you could pinpoint. That was the one thing I didn't. That was the that was the point where that movie dropped for me when we figured because it was it was way too early on. And we found that out. And then the rest of the movie... But that might be because, you know, we're horror aficionados. Yes. And we've seen a lot of movies. Yeah. So, you know, she, that's why, that's I think why we did the spoiler take. Because if you're not, if you're just tuning into these things once in a while, mm -hmm. it, it would it would be like the, the total Sixth Sense thing yeah. where you get right to the end and you're like, yeah. no way. Yeah. Right. But that was that was the other thing. Like, that, okay, because there's there's a scene, like there's, there's stuff going on in the attic too, right? So for the whole movie... That's right, yeah. Up until that point... I'm thinking, like, what the fuck's in the attic? Because there's a stain on the ceiling. What's going on with these mirrors? Like, is there something trying, like, coming out of the mirrors or mm -hmm. whatever? You know what I mean? But then... Yeah, they so they, they've got the mirrors covered because little Sam mm -hmm. is afraid of the ghost. Yeah. And, and he keeps saying the ghost is back. The ghost is back. Referring to this attic, and there's a staircase that goes up, mm -hmm. and there's a brick wall 
that uh, Jack's bricked in yeah. to close off the attic from the rest of the house. Yeah. And the, the chimneys are covered with wood. There's no way out of the attic kind of thing. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. which really is another spoiler. We don't really need to go beyond that because no. it's another surprise. Yeah, let's but, not, yeah, we won't, we won't say anything else. So, I mean. So, I will say though, a couple things. Um, I, God, I want to talk about the ending, but we won't. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't like the ending that much. I just, it's, I know, it's a horror movie, I guess, of sorts. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we would classify this as a horror movie, but um, supernatural. Right yeah, on. but it just the ending, I just didn't think was very believable. But again, in the realm of horror, I mean, what is believable? I mean, you have to have some sort of craziness to make it even work. Because if everybody did what they were supposed to do, they'd never go in the fucking dark basement. They'd never go up into the scary attic. And as soon as they heard a fucking noise or saw a ghost they would hightail it right out of the house and not stick around. So you have to have shit like that happen to make a horror movie, so I get it. But yeah, I, I just, there were certain points in this movie, which you will see when you watch it. Maybe it'll be the same for you, but it just kind of took away from this movie. And I thought it was too long. I don't know about you. They're, they could have easily cut 20 minutes out of this film, mm -hmm. like just for pacing. I mean, there was points where I actually stopped watching the movie, played a fucking video game on my phone for three or four minutes and then you know and they were just getting out of the same scene that i yeah. stopped watching it was just you know it, it just could have been paced a little bit better for me but all in all it was a good movie like mm -hmm. i would you know i would recommend watching it it's it's you're not going to leave there doing cartwheels but you're not going to leave hating it either but no. it just could have been a bit shorter i think and yeah you know it's just i don't know the ending kind of made but hey definitely worth a watch for me so what did i say i gave it six and a half strong six and a half strong six and a half strong six and a half so yep but, uh, so that's about the same about the same for me strong yeah six and a half, maybe seven something like that yeah um so. i like the way anytime there's like kids involved it's got that almost like storybook kind of thing I, so i like that part of it like mm -hmm. uh and jane was kind of like this um i don't know being the librarian you know I, I like those scenes where they were running around the skull rock and all that yeah that was and, cool yeah, that was kind of neat like this you know? movie has lots of yeah. good parts to so. it it's just the parts that aren't good really detract from the story it just yeah. doesn't need to be in there but there is tons it, it, of it good. is kind of longish yeah but there is tons of good goodness to this this movie so mrs axemaster liked it oh yeah it's kind of hard to we as we've mentioned it's kind of hard to do she actually liked the uh, fish movie too we forgot to say that. that is i'm telling you right now the the cold skin that yeah. is a hard movie not to like if you don't like that movie then you got issues because that that is a fucking good movie yeah so but we're talking about marabone right yeah, now yeah so. marabone anyways is. yeah so six and a half for me six and a half seven there you go so definitely worth the watch but i wouldn't have it on the top of the list maybe in the middle somewhere so you'll get one of those movies you'll get to eventually yeah. So when there's nothing else on. So anyways, guys. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, thanks to, again to all the subscribers. Really appreciate it. Um, channel's growing again. That's awesome. You know, everybody's coming back on board. I really appreciate it. And uh, we got tons of stuff coming out. And uh, I hope, fingers crossed, we really want to do like a retro review portion of this channel. So we're trying to land... A surprise for you guys. I won't say anything, but if it happens, it'll be fucking wicked if we can film there. So we'll just leave it at that, and then we'll, you know, hopefully within a week or two, we'll get that all sorted out and we can start doing stuff there too. But it's going to be awesome if we can do it. So, anyways, any final You'll have to stay thoughts? tuned. Yes, yes, you will. Make sure you come back. So, and until then, you'll have to stay scared. scared.